guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Marta, formerly of Fun and Third. I am the Edupreneur, and today I am going to show you week five setup and the setup for uh, the start of session two. So if you are interested in that, keep on watching. Hi guys okay so let me show you um our setup for this week um today we are doing a very simple chemistry lab i'm kind of taking it easy because this is our last week of camp for session one so i do have three new campers that are coming in today so you can see i have their supplies already out and ready to go so we're gonna be in the conference room today instead of in my center because um, we're doing an experiment. I really should have took us outside, but I put a, something down so hopefully that'll keep spills and all of that stuff. So uh, we're gonna kind of go over what we have been learning all camp long, doing circle time, expectations for the new campers, um, I didn't put pull the tent out because I just ran out of time. It's actually time for me to be downstairs. And this is our science experiment set up on this side. No one will be allowed to sit. Everybody has to stand so that I can make sure that they're paying attention to me and I even have my spot right there at the front. So this is my setup for today, the beginning of a new week. This is week five, the last week. I'm super excited because on um, Thursday will be the last day, and then I will have all the way until July 5th off. So I'm super excited about that. So I will be back in a little bit. Hey guys, so I am here on a Saturday just trying to prep some things for camp next week. Let me show you what I'm working on. Okay, so if you see things kind of spread out, that's because I'm putting making like little kits so that... Um, when next week come, I don't have to worry about sorting anything. Everything is already separated into little kits. So we have several projects next week um, on Monday, starting with the engineering project where they're gonna create um, crash cars. And then we're gonna test them to see um, which car is the most sturdy. Um, it's a very, very uh, engaging project. So. They, these are the basic materials that they need, just some craft sticks, some straws, some wheel, stem wheels, some dowels, um, just the basic materials. Um, and then you kind of let them, you show them the format for the base, the foundation of the car, and then they can be as creative as they want with the top of the car. But everybody receives the same amount of supplies, so it's very interesting to see them as they create once you kind of show them. Um, I also have like three new campers starting next week. So I've already kind of gathered their goodie bags on the tables over there. Um, one of my campers kind of registered at the last minute, so I didn't have a shirt in his size, so he's missing a shirt. So I have, I'm going to have to order a shirt and that's gonna um, take some time to get in. But other than that, all of the other goodies that campers get when they come to camp is already set out and ready to go. So other than that, um, I still have to go to the store and gather a few uh, other supplies. I'm just basically getting things ready for Monday. I kind of have all of the activities already planned out for the week, um, but I still need to go to the store to get a few supplies. For, I know for Thursday's activity and I believe Tuesday's activity. So, but Monday and Wednesday, I have everything that I need for the activities so all right so 
with that being said, I am super, super excited about the upcoming class that we have coming up on how to host your own camp, how to open your own tutoring center, and how to open your own micro school. It is a class that's going to provide you with so much information, five days jam-packed full of information. And those, I still have a, a few seats left, but for those who are... Um, entering into the class they are going to receive a special bonus quite a few bonuses that i have available for example one of the bonuses is all of the registration documents that i use uh, for camp is going to come into you come to you on a file ready to go all you have to do is put your business name on it and you're ready to go there are a lot of documents that you will need to protect yourself and your business so you don't so want you guys don't definitely do not want to miss that you don't want to miss this five-day challenge it is going to definitely put you exactly where you need to be and help you to avoid all of the missteps and mishaps and will accelerate your business i am so excited that I am going to show and reveal to all of my customers the exact amount of money that I made during my camp. And guess what? It will blow your mind. Um, I remember when I first did a camp uh, work doing summer school for the school district, and I was only paid after taxes about $1,600. Well, the what I have made kicked that $1,600 butt. So... You can definitely do this. You do not, absolutely do not have to quit your job in, in order to host your own camp or even to start your own tutoring center. So we are excited to help you to get set up with that. So definitely join us to share all of the information that I am uh, going to share in addition to Tangela Jeter from Little Scholars in San Antonio. She has so much knowledge and so much information. And so we are super, super excited to get together and show you exactly what to do to accelerate your business while you are still working if, you, if that's what you choose to do. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next time, I will see you guys on the next video. And I hope to see you guys in the challenge the challenge if you choose to accept it is yours see you guys next time bye